We're going to take some time today to introduce to you the TAG micro mill with factory ball screws. Just as smooth as you can be and friction free. We're going to go in depth and show you all that went into this. We're going to start off with the ball screws. Uh, these ball screws are 12 millimeter, about a half inch uh, in diameter. The nuts are matched with each screw. And these are the nut adapters, so we can install them on uh, our machine. This end plate goes on the X, like so, and that gives us a nice stiff suspension. Each rotation is 2.5 millimeter. That's uh, about 98 thousandths, a little over. So if you have a 400 step stepper motor, each step is going to be about two and a half tenths. We try to keep everything pretty close. Now here are the tables. This is the standard table for the V-thread that we're all used to. And uh, you can see we've had to do some machining to make room for the nut adapter. Now here are the saddles. This is your standard V-thread saddle. And this is the machine work on the ball screw saddle. A beautiful job. Craig, our chief engineer, he did a beautiful job on these. And uh, this is where our adapter goes in and then the ball screw uh, nut of course slides into here and this is all pinned so it's just as straight as can be really nice work now these are the y-axis extrusions and uh, this is the v-thread and this is for the ball screw notice how we've had to make room for the nut adapter And here is the Z slide. This is your standard. And here is the ball screw version. Uh, once again, uh, room has to be made so we could put the ball nut adapter, which is pinned and enters like so. A lot of nice work. So as you could see, we've spent uh, a considerable amount of time on this getting this uh, to work really smooth. Uh, ball screws of course can uh, travel at tremendous speeds and depending on what your control is and your stepper motors uh, you could go anywhere from 150 inches a minute to 400 inches a minute. Uh, personally I have mine set at 200 inches a minute it's just uh, it's more than fast enough for rapid uh, and it does a good job. And you'll notice down here <clears throat> there are stops. The last thing you want to do is run your uh, nut off the end of the screw because the balls will go everywhere and you'll never get them back. And you can't buy another nut. You have to get a matched set, a matched uh, screw and nut. So you have to be careful. Make sure you don't take these off. Another thing you have to be careful of is climb milling. Let's just say we have a piece of steel in here and we have a clockwise rotation and as we're climb milling the cutter has a tendency to push back uh, on the screw and because it's a ball screw uh, it's very very efficient. Uh, you, can, you can move these things by hand. They're extremely efficient and very fast. So you have to be careful. Now if you have some decent stepper motors on there, you really don't have to worry about it that much. But uh, just, so, so just as long as you're aware of climb milling and that uh, you can push these back. It's a beautiful machine. 